Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Mike Makes It. Looking at the TD5 Defenders instrument cluster. Uh, I don't know if it's coming across very well, but this is illuminated. Fuel gauge is illuminated. This one's out. No illumination in there. And half of the speedo is illuminated. Now, with a speedo in the past, I've had the bulbs actually slide out of the, the speedo housing itself. So it's possible the left hand bulb has actually done that. Probably not so on the temperature gauge. So basically now with winter on, you've got the lights on. The temperature gauge is just not visible when you're driving in the dark. So what we need to do today is to remove the instrument cluster and get into the back of the dials. Uh, dead easy, two screws on the right, two screws on the left here. Yeah, it's dead easy to remove this. I said there's four screws, there's actually six. There's a couple I forgot about, which are underneath this assembly. So I've done the right hand side. I'll just do the left now. Just remember where they go back because on my Land Rover, they're all different. So that can be a bit of a pain. Sorry for the wobble there, just caught the camera. That's five out. Number six. Right. Now, this will all lift forward, as you can see. Get this out the way. Phone mount. And that'll all turn over. In actual fact, I can see what's happened to the instruments, uh, or certainly to the temperature gauge. I'll get the camera around to show you. Well, that's what I found when I've turned the binnacle over, or instrument cluster. That bulb holder has actually come out of the temperature gauge. But if I put the power onto the lights, still doesn't light up. So it's actually failed and popped out. Unless it popped out when I took the instrument cluster out. But this one is illuminated. This one isn't, so the bulb's gone on there. Need to do a bit more investigation on the speedo. I tend to remember there were some bulbs actually sitting in the back, but that's not the case. So uh, I could have been thinking of one of these. So I'll go see if I've got a new one of these bulbs, then we'll investigate the speedo cluster. Looks like I've done this before. I've gone and looked in the garage, and the bulb I need to change are these wedge style, style ones. Now, that's the part number, and they're 12 volt, 1.2 watt. Some of the specs say 2 watt, so I may have downgraded to 1.2 because the dash was a little bit bright. Now, on the Speedo, they use 509 T-type bulbs. If we just pull that out of the packet. I've got an old one there that I replaced earlier. Not today, some time ago. And there's the other ones. Let's get that old bulb. It's pretty much the same as the other style bulb I showed you, the wedge one, but it's actually in a housing that screws into the speedo. So um, we'll get the instrument one done first, make sure it's the right brightness with these wedge style bulbs, then uh, move on to the speedo, as I say. All right, there you go, there's the new one. They simply just push in, they don't turn, just push straight in. We look at the old bulb, they're still glowing. They're the same brightness, so I'm using 12 volt, 1.2 watt bulbs. Um, I'll put all the links in the description, uh, part numbers, etc. Now we'll move over to the speedo. Okay, here's the back of the speedo housing. This hole and the one just behind it there, that's where the bulbs sit. Now they're deep sockets. I don't know if we can actually get the camera over there. You can see down the hole. There it is. There's the bulbs. Right down the bottom. Now... The only way I've managed to get those out is with a little extension bar, quarter inch extension bar, 11 30 second socket, okay, uh, on the end of that. And also, inside the socket, you've got to put a little bit of rubber glove. Well, that's what I found. And also on the socket, so the socket doesn't pull off. Let me show you. Right, there you go. There's uh, Mike Makes It Tool. I dare say there's a proper tool available. I don't have it. This should work. A little bit of rubber glove, 11 30 second socket on a quarter inch extension bar. So we go see if we can get the ball bait. Right, here we go. Bit difficult with one hand, so forgive me if it goes off shot. And the steering wheel's getting in the way. There we go. 
give it a turn until you can find the bulb. No bulb. Try again. Not actually feeling it. Just rotating it. Let's see what we got. There you go. See it's trapped in the glove. And all we gotta do, pop out the old bulb. I'm not gonna use a bit of rubber to put the ball back in because you'll end up ripping the ball back once you got it back in the socket. So uh, yeah, let's get the new bulb mounted and fitted. There you go, new bulb, no rubber glove apart from on the socket. You're feeling for that to drop down into the socket of the electrical connection down there. There, I think that's it, quarter turn clockwise. Now hopefully I pull this out, we'll have no bulb on the end, but a socket, just slow. Well, the bulb's gone somewhere and we got the socket back, so let's see if it works. There you go, fully illuminated instrument cluster. Replaced two bulbs in the Speedo, I thought I'd do both while I was there anyhow, because of the age, um, and the one in the temperature gauge. Um, the other two, the clock and the fuel gauge were already okay, and they're still okay. I'll just show you the bulb again, the 509T, and something to watch out for. Now there's the Speedo bulbs, or bulb I took out. Now, be careful when you put them in, because it fits into um, an indent or a cutout in the PCB on the Speedo itself, but then you've got to rotate it 90 degrees like that. So the two contacts, you can see the two metal contacts there, they obviously got to make connection with the board. Now, if you put it in and turn it too far, you may not actually make electrical contact. So uh, possibly if it's not lit up after you replace the bulbs, you know, put the socket back in gently on the back of the bulb and just tweak it a little bit with the lights on um, until the speedo lights up. So that, that's just something to bear in mind. You've got to put it in, 90 degree turn, should be fine, but you may just need to tweak it a tad. Uh, that's what I had to do on one of the bulbs there. But yeah, there you go. Um, successful fix, half hour's work six screws and i'm ready for winter anyhow thanks for watching mike makes it